Okay, welcome back to the channel. Good afternoon, guys. I'm just doing a quick brief one to camera on my phone, so the quality may, may, may not be so great. So we have found a place at a place called the Copacabana Beach Condo Complex. And I'll go into a few details and I'll tell you how much we paid much later in the video so you see how much this came in at, which is very reasonable for European prices. There are a couple of issues that I will tell you about as I say, later in the video. So join me, I'll take a quick walk around with you right now. Okay, so here we are at room B3404 on the 31st, 34th floor. And here we go, into the abode. Uh, it's fairly compact, I'll give it that much. You've got this double seater here, but it also doubles up as a sofa bed so we're going to be four of us in this little property for a couple of nights which is okay a bit of decor and artwork it swings through here onto the kitchen area which is pretty minimal but again we're not really going to be cooking here it's just something you, know, you can set up a cup of tea as you may actually see here already on the desk there is kettle a bit of toilet roll and if you like to get your hair dried in the morning you've got that as well i'll just walk through to this amazing view here from the this is from the kitchen and we'll obviously get a lot more footage as we move forward. That's the, the general plan, but yeah, pretty cool view. In the distance over there is Colan. We'll be doing a video for that in the next few days as well. So moving through, as you go through, I won't spend hours and hours looking. I'll go to the bathroom last. There's a big old television here. I'm not sure the size, but you've got Wi-Fi, everything you need, no big issues. And then into the main room. It is a little bit bright with that reflection, but it is a beautiful sunny day and I uh, don't want to spoil the sun. So this is the main room. You know, it's perfectly serviceable, very tidy, very neat. Uh, a little balcony there, which I'll show you in just a sec. There's aircon in both rooms. There's a television there, obviously. And then a little balcony here, which I think I can be able to do that. Oh, there we go. Okay. So from the balcony, it's Let's just call it bijou. It's a bijou, <laughs> bijou balcony. But what is quite amazing is this is the sort of view we're getting from the room, which is quite gorgeous. We're only here for a short time, so you know what? That works perfectly fine. And I'll wander ourselves back in to the, the main body of operations, and I'll just whiz through. That's the main door entrance there little cupboard on the side. I'm not going to be one of those guys who opens all the video, all the drawers. I know a lot of people do that. I don't understand why, but there it is. A bit of cleaning materials if you need them with a the loo, simple toilet, uh, bathroom, basin, and um, I'll show you that big mirror up there. And that leads into a, a pretty sizable shower. It looks pretty decent from my view here. I'll pull the door back. We are getting reflection because there's light. But yeah, you've got your amenities there, um, washing soap and, and shampoo. It's all the gold work. It's copper cabana, isn't it? They're trying to create sort of that effect, which is working. It's pretty good. So there it is, guys. That's a quick run through of the room. What we will still do is we will take you around the building and maybe get a bit of drone footage a bit later on. Enjoy. So what is important if you come and rent a condo here or you want to stay for a long term, one month, three months, six months, you can't operate the lift unless you've got an access card, which is pretty cool for safety. And a lot of the access doors need that as well. All the pools do, so food for thought.
gate entrance by the children's pool which you can come onto the main beach road right here which is quite beautiful as always is but there you go if you have a look over here take the camera over there you can see the sea just there just across the road so everything's fantastic Welcome back folks. So this is an unfortunate place to be right now, but somebody has to do it and I'm prepared to take the mantle and this is a little view from John Tien from the 35th, 30, I said that before, 34th floor of uh, the Copper Gabbana, which we'll show you a bit more about. This is, you know, I don't know, I just have to try, I guess. Welcome back. Here we are. Look at that amazing sunset. On in the distance, you see that island. That's actually an island called Kolan, and we will be going there tomorrow, taking some footage. You've got some amazing, I mean, clear blue sea over that over there. It takes about forty-five minutes on the ferry, which costs, I think, it's approximately about seventy-five pence to go. It's unbelievable. So anyway, this is the shop. If you, the, the nearby shot here. This is all John Tien to your left. And as we move to the center and you see the tower in the distance, that starts to become more sort of Pattaya itself. But most of what you're seeing in the, in the foreground is in fact John Tien. And as far as the eye can see, and it's not as easy to see from here, that's actually Pattaya itself, Pattaya Central. So this is a few miles away, much calmer, much nicer, an awful lot of fun. I'm going to just zoom down from above and we'll try and get some footage while we're here. But this is the John Tien night market where you get some amazing food. You just see the roofs, unfortunately. It's not exactly exciting, but from our, there it is, right down there, right next to this amazing place called the Copacabana Beach Resort. So we'll get some more stuff for you guys and hopefully it's nice to go down there. You can have a nice cold beer, overlook the ocean in the early evening. It's just amazing. All sorts of food from Western to Thai to, to everything, including things such as clothes and gimmicks and all, all sorts of fancy bits and bobs that you might want, but stunning place, absolutely stunning place to come to. And it's so warm.
So in summary, what do we think of Copacabana Resort? There's a couple of things I need to give you. I said right at the beginning of the video, there are some caveats to this place. What we found out, we booked this through Airbnb. It cost us 44 pounds a night, which is fantastic for a holiday. But if you push that out to a month, it becomes a rather expensive place. In terms of the room, <clears throat> excuse me, in terms of the room, it, it's very small. It is very small for what, I mean, for a hotel room, absolutely great. But if you were to live here, which is the purpose of these condos, I think you'd have a struggle. It is really small and really expensive in comparison, comparison to other condos in, in the Patia area. <clears throat> the caveat I meant to mention to you is legally, you, we are not allowed to be staying here for less than three months under the, the law. Uh, but luckily, they looked the other way when we came. We moved in, they looked the other way. The thing is, we booked this through Airbnb. So, I mean, I'm not saying it's Airbnb's fault, but they're kind of breaking the rules. And the signs are everywhere. It's a little bit imposing where they say, you know, if you're here shorter than that, you can be arrested, you can be given a fine. So, Copacabana is not the place to come for a short term stay. It's more of a long term, and if you've got a really healthy budget, fine. And if you don't mind small bijou, also fine. Views are great. The lifts are fast, but often, depending on time of day, you, like you're stopping at all stations, so it can take you ages. It does take a long time. If you're alone at night, late, it goes up pretty quickly, but it's got 59 floors. So bear that in mind if that's the kind of living you, got, you want. It does have underground parking if you live here, so that's, that's a nice advantage as well. But I would say, just think very carefully. I'm glad I came to see this before, you know, I want to sort of settle myself on a, a, a condo. I, I, do, I would not choose to live here personally. But holiday, spend a few days here, fantastic. Really close to all the amenities. You've got 7-Eleven, you've got the night market down the way. I think it's, it's good value in that sense. In terms of payments per night for food, you could pay for like anything from 50 to 100, 150 baht per person, which is, again, very good if you use the food market which I recommend because there's pretty much everything there. So yeah, great place, lovely surroundings, but not a long-term stay. Be very, very careful when you're booking on Airbnb because this is not a hotel. And owners who treat it like a hotel can get into a lot of trouble. You know, we, we're lucky they look the other way in this case, so we're leaving shortly, no problem. But I'd be aware of that. But price per night, excellent in foreign terms, 44 pounds a night accommodated four of us it was a one bedroom with a pull out couch for a bed if we were to be in here all day together never it's just too small so thankfully because we weren't we were out, out and about it didn't really have an impact on us quick last thing the floors 59th floor has a pool 40th floor has a pool 30th floor has a pool and the ground floor has a massive pool all of the pools are fantastic all of the pools other than the ground floor have got great views nice place to sit and just chill out so yeah it is a good place without a doubt i'm just telling you what those caveats are so until the next video we'll see you soon